there's no problem right now that people that look at the world like me are observing that would be better under Donald Trump. The war in the Middle East would be prosecuted in a much less favorable way, in a much more aggressive um, and bloody way to the Palestinians in Gaza uh, than it already is being. And what we're seeing over there right now is it's terrible, ridiculous murder, right? It's crazy. So um, just all over the place. But it would be worse under Trump. Trump, while he was in office, uh, you could make an argument, stoked some of these... Tropes. Uh, no, they, he, he stoked some of these fires. He, he, some of these tensions arose under him. He made the decision geopolitically to move the embassy um, uh, to Jerusalem and recognize Jerusalem as the capital of Israel, right. which was a long-held point of contention between uh, you know, Israel and the West Bank, like who runs, who has Jerusalem? Everybody had just said kind of, we're leaving that on the table. We're not trying to figure that out. We're, it's, it's a place that nobody kind of owns. You got to talk about Jordan, the West Bank, all that stuff. And Trump was like, no, 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 no. Uh, Jerusalem is the cultural and political center of Israel. He moved it there. And not very many other places in the world went along with um, him doing that. The reality of it is that he did that to signal just how staunch an ally he is of not just Israel, but of Bibi Netanyahu. I want to make sure I say this. Any criticism that I have of Israel is of Israel as a state. Right. Any criticism that I have of any state is of that state as a state, right? People are diving deep into some pretty uh, obvious anti-Semitism, mm -hmm. and these things are being conflated. But if you are talking about a country and its geopolitical actions, its economic actions, its human rights violations or human rights violations that have been committed against them in, Jan in, in October 7th, right. one of the worst terrorist attacks we've ever seen. You have to talk about it in a sanitized intellectual way. And the reality is there is a geopolitical advantage for the United States to have an ally where Israel is situated, for them to have a country that has some semblance of democracy. And it's to not, blindly support. And to blindly support it, not because they believe in Israel, its people, its freedom, its self-determination, or the freedom of the self-determination of anybody else in that region, but because... They believe in their own. and It's they, our own interests that are, yeah. Their own interests at heart. Yeah. It's being able to check up on Iran, uh, Iran and mm -hmm. being able to have an ally there. And so you'll send them as many Apache helicopters as they need, $3.3 .3 billion a year. So when you're talking about like what you think a country should be able to do and what they should, what they should do, you're talking about how you look at the world. And the way I look at the world is through things that have been deprived of me when I was a kid in Baton Rouge, which is freedom, justice, Access to food, water, health care, um, environmental justice, uh, ha one person, one vote, um, having your life matter. Those are things that when I'm consistently burying people where I'm from that I do not see being reflected in certain situations all over the world. Right. And that's the way I look at the world. I don't look at the world through America first. Right. I don't look at the world through uh, the lens of what's good for us is the most important thing to me. I look at the world through the lens of, are people getting what they need? Do people have what they need? Particularly in this case, I'm asking America to be the, the police for the entire world. Particularly in this case, America's involved. Yeah, very much involved without being involved. Is right, uh, America's involved. So if America's involved and, you know, three cents out of every dollar that I have are, are, are going to the Defense Department, whatever the number is, uh, probably more than that, um, then what I want to know is that the people in charge have values and beliefs about the value and sanctity of human life that align with mine. Well, the only candidate that's running that is Cornell West that shares those, I feel like, because everybody else I feel like is very much. Now, this was, I mean, it, it's not a Biden thing. It's not a Trump thing. It's an American thing. It's an American. To, that's to, a, that's to, I think that's to, the, it's the most, be ally the most bipartisan the way, shit ever to support. And by the way, here's the, here's the deal. And the killing of Jeffrey Epstein. And oh it, my it's, God. It's like, it's, it's like, he, Epstein shit's great. But, but, but here's the thing. This is what I'm saying. What I'm saying is this. I'm saying that I have a problem with there being, with, with having allies. Right. There's no problem with America being like, like in a cultural or economic or even a military alliance with Israel. The, the problem becomes when things are being rubber stamped that as an American citizen, I think go against our stated morals and goals 
the yeah, values, the, value, the, the, the values of the country that have never been upheld or things that go against mine. Right. And I'm allowed to say, hey, you know what? I want everybody to be safe. I want everybody to feel safe in their own home. I love the fact that there's a place where Jews can go and they can feel at home right. and they can feel safe. Right. I want everybody to have that. But at the same time, what I want is for power in the world to be responsible. That's it. That's beautiful. Beautifully said. Yeah. Look, we out. We I gotta out. Say, I got to say something real quick before I go. I'm fucking with Cactus Tea and everything that you're doing, baby. Thanks. My mixtape's coming soon. Cactus Tea mixtape coming soon. Yep. Joe Rogan in word situation. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, mm. by the end of the week, when is this dropping? Uh, probably Friday. Okay. So by next Friday, by next Friday, you're going to be Donald Trump. Wow. Because I'm going to write this headline. I'm going to doctor this headline. Beep, blah, beep, boop, beep, boop, boop. I'm going to go. They're I'm very a, fine people. I'm going to find. <laughs> I'm gonna find all the other stuff you did for some sub assets. I got you now. I fuck with you big time. All right, appreciate, appreciate you, brother. Yeah.